supporting PWH PA, but with COVID hitting them and causing a big financial loss, uh, their main focus is not women's hockey right now. They want to focus on actually getting the NHL started again. But I believe once they get up and running again, then then we'll have some good good discussion with the NHL to get a, get a league started on their NHL. Uh, any other questions? Keep them coming. Nora, how much water do you need for the day? I didn't hear you. Can you? How much water do you drink? How much water do you drink? Water? Um, about a gallon, I would say. If you combine, I drink a lot of shakes, uh, pre workouts, uh, bio steel, and stuff. So I would say it's, it's over a gallon, gallon a day. Okay. Thank you. What, um, I guess I'll ask a question. What, what advice do you have for any of the people that are on the call that are kind of during this pause right now, um, kind of a break in their season, don't really know when to start back up? Or, um, advice for them? Mm, I would just say not stress about it. We're all in the same situation. No one really has the opportunity to be training, and hopefully we can – um, get through this and through this and get, get back to safe environment and training. I know it's not the most fun right now, but there's always things you can do. Uh, you can do hand eye at home. You can do at home workouts. Um, some people might use this as an excuse to do nothing, but I would say there's really no excuses. You can always find a way to get better even without having ice. So uh, if you don't know what to do, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to Andy. We have a lot of resources, how to use this time to your advantage and how to get better. So um, really take this time to especially get mentally stronger. So those, those who get through it, then um, they'll also come back stronger when we can play again. I think the questions are slowing down. I don't know if uh, anyone has any last questions here. Get them in. I'll give you another minute or so. But – There's a, a few ones in the chat room, I, got, I see. Sorry. Oh. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Uh, do you meditate at all, Nora? Or do you, like, visualize, like, through meditation? Yeah, so I do visualization before every game. So yeah. I kind of go through different scenarios that could happen in a game. So I think I mentioned it earlier, but – if you'd already seen it once, once it happens in a game, you're more prepared for it. So I, I'm a big advocate for visualization. And then I don't necessarily meditate, but, but I definitely do yoga a couple of times a week. Yeah. Anora, are you going to do Matt Mega next year again? Of course I will. Okay, Am I going to see you? Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> they all ask them during the season, I guess. Uh, well, I think we've answered all the questions in the chat. So I see a lot in the chat room. Yeah, that's where most of them we asked them okay. from. From Kaya, what's your favorite brand for equipment? So I use Brian's. Uh, I have a deal with Brian's Custom Sports, so they're great. Um, um, Nora, do you think um, your hips have a big, like, impact on, like, flexibility and, like, being able to go down into, like, the splits? Because I was able to do the splits last week, but I've been, like, pushing myself really hard this past – or, no, two weeks ago I was able to do the splits, but this week I'm, like, really tight, and even stretching doesn't help, I feel like. And I've been – I can't do the left splits anymore, so I just – how do you stretch consistently – and like keep that consistency yeah so fun fact i've never been able to do a split um i'm not the most flexible goalie but i do about half an hour of mobility every day um and also fun fact um i really haven't had a major injury yet so i'm knocking on the wood <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come uh so i've always focused on a lot of hip mobility um i think just get, taking care of your hips and your groin is a big one for goalies, especially growing up. 
We got a, Caitlin's got her hand up, so I'll let you unmute yourself. Um, like when you see better goalies than you, um, well, you obviously see it more when you're younger than you're older. Um, but like, what do you think to yourself to like help you not be as jealous or like as like you know, yeah, of them, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, there will always be goalies better than you. And what I would say is to to learn from them. I mean, not not be jealous and not not spend energy on what someone else is doing. Because the truth is, you can't control what other people are doing. You can only control yourself and what you're doing. So when I see better goalies than me, um, I look at them like a hawk, and then I just take things that they're good at, and then I try them on my own game and see if they will work for me. And um, a lot of times you see kind of like where goalie partners don't get along. So for me, a big one is like always get along with your goalie partners because you can feed on, feed on each other and have a lot of fun together. It's a lot more fun to get to the rink when, when you really get along with your goalie partners and you can really help each other, other to get better. Got a question about equipment. Any good uh, custom modifications that you have on your, your gear? Yeah, so my gear is made uh, for a shorter goalie. I'm five foot six, five foot five, maybe five foot six on my toes. Uh, so I have a little shorter uh, boot on my pads, and then a um, little shaved off on the the toe, so I can do a little wider stance if I need to without the toe touching the ice on my pads. Uh, I do have intermediate palms for smaller hands, and then. My my glove is actually made like a baseball glove, so uh, I could never use a stiff glove. So my glove is like don't have to press much and it's closing. So it's a lot looser glove than a normal ones. Oh, Nora, you have a game ready glove? Yes. Okay, okay. Because I want to get those pads next year. And then also, I was wondering what kind of what skates do you use? I use just a normal Bauer ones. Um, okay, yeah, because I still have the cowlings on my skates, and I need to get rid of those, like, as soon as possible. <laughs> I can tell, like, they're not, it, I don't even know. Difference, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. skates have definitely come a long way these days. I've had the same skates since I was 13. <laughs> kind of need new ones. Yeah, feet haven't grown, I guess, huh? How was your um, time in Russia? Obviously, you played in the Olympics there, and you played um, – some professional hockey there. One of the questions is just kind of how has your time in Russia been? Yeah, I really enjoy Russia. So the last two years I played for a Chinese team in the Russian league. So kind of international team we have there. Um, I was there last two months and just got home last week. And with COVID, it was definitely um, a little different. We were kind of in a bubble middle of nowhere. So pretty much just practiced and played games and then went back to the hotel so we couldn't do much but overall I really really enjoy Russia I think a lot of people have like perceptions like what Russia is as a country but uh, I've really enjoyed my time there and I mean you can't complain when you get to play play professional hockey and and they actually pay you to do it so so it's really been a uh, dream come true I've got some questions that uh maybe a lot of people don't even know this. What is it like to be a uh, reality TV star? <laughs> um, and what shows are, what shows were you on? Tell people what shows you were on first. So they know. Yeah. So I've been on the Finnish survivor in 2018. We went to Philippines. So I was there on an, an Island without anything for a month or 14 days when I got warded off. And then a, year, a little over a year ago, I did this show called The Farm. So they put us to a farm kind of like 200 years ago, no running water, no electricity or nothing for, for a month too. So <laughs> I don't know how I end up doing all these TV shows, but it's kind of a lot of fun. So they take all your phones away and you can't be connected to outside world. So you're kind of in your own bubble for that time being, but it's, Definitely a unique experience and and um, and something I will remember forever. 
Very cool. What's uh, what's your favorite rink? Favorite hockey rink? Yeah. No, I would have to say the Ritter. So there's no better place to play in women's college hockey than the Ritter. What's your uh, normal normal week like um, of practice or how many times are you on the ice? Yeah, so right now when I'm playing, um, we practice. We usually have two or three games a week, and then we practice two or three times, get one, one day off a week unless there's travel. So uh, what we do is we lift in the morning, then we hop on a bus. It's about 20 minutes away, our rink from our hotel, and then we have two hours on the ice and then do the cool down and then get back to hotel. And then, then two or three games a week, I usually play about one game a week since we have two goalies who are playing. And then uh, that's kind of in season. And then off season, it's, it's all coaching, a lot of coaching hours with, with mega goaltending. So kind of shifting my focus on that once the summer starts. Do you have any specific diet do's or don'ts? <laughs> <laughs> You yes, uh, a, a lot of them. Um, some of you might know I have a, a disease called Hashimoto. So it's kind of like an autoimmune disease. So something that um, helps me feel a lot better is my diet. So usually I try to eat gluten-free and dairy-free. So, so that's kind of my special diet. So do's and don't. No sugar, no white sugar. That's a big one. Uh Marley met your dog at the gopher camp and wants to know how, how he is. There's an update. Um, Dino. Like, yeah. I don't know where Dino is. He's good. They're sleeping on the couch right now. Uh, Dino, was he? Dino got a little brother two weeks ago. Was he named after the Flintstones? No, Dino's real name is Din Dien. I rescued him. I found him on the streets uh, in China when he was a puppy. So then I saw him like he was the size of my hand and I saw him on the street. I couldn't leave him on the street. So then I brought him home uh, two years ago from China. And now you got another one. <laughs> now we have another one. He's a Shiba Inu and he's from Puppy Mill in, in Oklahoma. Saving all the puppies. Yep, I wish I could have them all. <laughs> uh, let's see if we have. What's your favorite place to go? You've been all over the world. Like yeah, you know. everywhere. I mean, um, now that I've been living in Minnesota for nine years, I would say my favorite place to go is home in Finland. So, but vacation-wise, I would say Thailand. Awesome. If we don't have any more questions here, um, we've taken up quite a bit of time here, but thank you, Nora. Um, I know you're pretty accessible and pretty good at reaching out to people. So if you guys ever need uh, advice or want to reach out to someone, you know, Nora's obviously got her email or Instagram. There's it's not hard to find her. So um, I'll kind of unmute everybody, but thank you for joining us and Everyone on the call, thanks for uh, stopping by and asking some questions. It was uh, fun, fun hearing from some of you guys, seeing some of your guys' face. I know it's kind of tough being locked up right now in, in your house, so it's, uh, it's kind of good seeing everyone. So thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Well, thanks, Nora. And Thank you. Thanks, Andy. I'm sure we'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> yep, every day. All right. Have a good one.